Hi, my name is Tomiko Stanislaus, and I grew up with my grand aunt, my great grandmother. At the time, I didn't have um, both parents. However, growing up um, with my grandparents, I was introduced um, to the Lord. I started off with um, Sunday school, so I can say the first part of my life, I was in tune with God. Now, through my teenage years, when I got out there, I started to hang with, um, I'll say, the wrong crowd. And that is when I started to do things that I'm not proud of. And I started to fall off from Jesus Christ. And I got myself into numerous stuff that, you know, that caused bad breaks in my life. So I had to ask myself, Lord, why is this all happening to me? I said, there has to be something better than this. And I got a job at Sandals in 96, and my life started to change around. And I got back into Christ. But however, not being around the right type of people to encourage me, I fell back in. And during that time, some depression had came into my life. I was also involved with some of the guys off the street. And I said, man, it have to be a better life than this. And I got a friendship with somebody who was at a church. And at the time, I didn't know it was the harvest. And they invited me to attend. So I took up the offer and I came to Bahamas Harvest East. And upon entering, I didn't know what to expect the first time. But as I came through the doors and I met the greeters, it was a warm, warm present feeling. And I felt accepted, I felt wanted. I said, as I came into the sanctuary and I sat down, at the time, it was, the topic was driven. And this was about three years ago. And I sat through the prayers and the worship and immediately I start to feel like a burden left off me. When my eyes, you know, tears came dead. And after Pastor Mario preached the sermon, the exact sermon actually spoke into my life at that time. And I said to myself, this is what I need. From then I've been attending the Bahamas hours now for three years. And it has been a great pillar of strength for me in my life. And I can say a lot of things has changed tremendously. Also wanted to get more into the church. I wanted to get deep into my faith and know a lot more about Jesus. So I took up the starting point. And I must say that was one of the best decisions of my life. I was in a good environment where we could talk and get to know Christ better. And I said, you have to get baptized. That's the next step. So I signed up for the water baptism, the rebirth experience. And I must say, as I went out there that day, the weather conditions were very bad. And when I was wondering, I said, boy, all of this happening, but I'm gonna go through with it anyhow. And as I walked into the water, I felt this feeling of joy, a heavy feeling came over me. I never felt it before in my life. And as I walked in and came over the water, I felt renewed, felt energized. I felt like a new me. I just say, Lord, thank you for this. And this is the Miko Stanislaus publicly professing that Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. <laughs>